Each week, Chick-fil-A brings us stories of athletes who amaze us. Adrian Soriano joins us now with the St. Francis quarterback overcoming a life-changing battle to play this season. Thanks, Robert. Earlier this year, Aaron Knapp faced the fight of his life battling cancer. Now this young man is showing his toughness and resilience both on and off the field. Afternoon practice at St. Francis High School. The Lancers are getting ready for another football season with Aaron Knapp as the starting quarterback for the Lancers. He's a vocal leader and a guy that we really look to to kind of get us going. He leads us in exercises, he leads us on and off the field. There's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a man of character and um, you know he's one of those guys that is doing the right thing all the time when, when people aren't watching and so that's a great guy to put in front of your team as a, as a leader. During Aaron's freshman year, Aaron noticed a small mysterious lump on the back of his neck. Aaron would undergo a series of tests to get a diagnosis. I started to notice a bump on my neck around those last couple weeks and uh, you know I, I I was kind of concerned, but my mom, you know, she told me not to worry and, you know, she's always going to be there to, you know, come for me. The lump didn't affect Aaron during his freshman year, but by Aaron's sophomore season, the lump began to grow rapidly, raising concerns for Aaron's well-being. So after last season, my sophomore year, um, we ended up getting surgery and they took a couple lymph nodes out from my neck and uh, they ran some tests on it and found out that it, uh, it was cancerous. Aaron was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma just before Christmas last year, a devastating blow to this tight-knit family. Well, devastation obviously, but I, I can't say I was too surprised because during the season when um, the lump on his neck was getting larger, I just at that point thought, you know, he had done so much testing, um, ruling out other things, so I wasn't too surprised, but it's, it's still hard to hear that kind of news. Aaron started nine weeks of chemotherapy this past January, driving to City of Hope in Pasadena every weekend for treatment. I'd go to school all week uh, feeling not the greatest, and then I'd drive down that Thursday or Friday night and do chemo. You know, obviously, you know, it's hard to balance school, chemo, football, all this stuff, but uh, just, you know, constant prayer and, and meeting with my family and fellowship with my friends got me through it. After nine brutal weeks of driving to Pasadena for treatment, the Knapp family received outstanding news. Aaron was cancer free. I just remember being, you know, super relieved and uh, just to see my mom relieved was actually more, you know, that was more, that was comforting for me just to see her doing better. He's really impressed us with his bravery and he just never really complained. He kind of did what he needed to do through his treatment. I think he just wanted to get through it so um, and, and get back to what he loves doing. He wanted to be with his friends and, um, and play football again. Aaron is now living his childhood dream, playing quarterback for the St. Francis Lancers. Just a great kid. He's worked extremely hard. Loves St. Francis football. Always wanted to be a St. Francis football player. And, and now this is kind of his time, right? He's been with us since his freshman year and, and finally he gets to be the guy and, and take all the snaps and be you know QB1. Nearly eight months ago, Aaron faced a life-changing battle with cancer. Now, Aaron is under center, looking to lead the Lancers to a successful season. Aaron showed so much courage during his fight with cancer, there is no doubt the St. Francis Lancers are in good hands with Aaron under center taking snaps. Outstanding. Great to have him back on the field. I'm Robert Bronstein. And I'm Aubrey Tolliver. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check back every Sunday night. And watch us every Sunday night at 6 and 10 p.m. on NBC Sports California. We'll see you at the games.